Hi everyone. I am at work so I have my headset on. Um, I'm going to do a box opening for this little Vampire Nun doll. It is Vampire Eva. And as you can see I have the um, Wolfie Nun doll boy that was released approximately around the same time as her. Um, and I have him in this cute little Halloween lantern carry pouch. You can see the little pumpkins there. So I'm going to do this box opening. And then I have a carrying pouch for her too. So let me just find the opening of her box here. Sorry, I'm, that's kind of a weird video. It's a little dark, but hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And I might have to pause it for work too, because I am working. All right, so I think this particular Nanda was actually released, as you can see there, with a boy vampire. Um, and the pre-order for her was around Halloween of 2022. Um, I just hadn't opened her for quite a while because, um, here's her little paper, it says Vendor Dog, Good Smell Company, and it has, I don't know, information in, um, Japanese, oh no, there's actually an English page too. Please read before use, be aware of color transfer from clothes, be careful of dressing your doll in clothes for long periods, in clothes with high colors, deep colors and high temperature or high moisture. Recommended storage methods with clothes off or dressed in white clothes. Now there's an Android doll special site, you guys. Have you ever seen that? There's the QR code if you want to use it. Um, and then there's her specific packet here, which it looks like she comes with the main body and head, a little lantern, and then three different pairs of hands and I don't know, it was something else which I'm not sure of what the extra the other last pieces are. Oh, alternate feet, I guess. Booted, booted feet versus non-booted feet. You know, other than my wolfie boy here, which I know I did a video for um, probably like two years ago. I don't even know. Um, this is, I think she's my second Nendroid, Nendroid doll opening ever. So, let's just see how it goes. So, here's her base, which is interesting. It's metalish. So, does she have magnets in her feet? Is that how all the Nendroids are? Oh, hers is like that too. Yeah, they do have metal in their feet. So, I forgot about that. Alright. So, hopefully, none of these pieces fell out here, but. If you can see, there's her um, feet and her boots, a lantern, three alternate pairs of hands, the doll, and then it looks like her clothing is tucked in um, on the back side of the um, plastic here. So, there she is, coming right out of the package. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's adorable. Um, so the plastic wrap kind of comes right off. If you've never seen an Android doll body, that's what it looks like. It has joints at the knee. There's the magnet in her feet, and then I'm sure her boots have um, magnets too, but that's the magnetics. Um, there's the feet have joints too, so you can bend them like so. And then um, the legs bend at the hips too, so they can fit. And the arms go up and down. They, I would think they could go forward too. Oh yeah, that's just a little bit tighter. But, so they can go in all different directions there. And then they bend at the elbow. And then of course the hands can rotate around and of course be changed out for different hand gestures. 
um, on this particular one she has um, buns in her hanger so they have little plastic and it's just connected by a little knob there and you just stick it right back on her head and just take this one off take the plastic off like so oh her little foot is grabbing the base so let's just test that out for the heck of it I know she still needs her outfit on but there you go she can stand up Pretty cool. Alright, so I guess I can just leave her here so you guys can kind of see her as I'm <laughs> getting her stuff out here. Um, the feet have, you can actually just do boot, like shoes, or it comes with an extra piece to make it a boot to like go longer up her leg, which is kind of cool. Sorry, I'm, maybe I'll angle this so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Hopefully that doesn't fall, and I'm sorry it's like cutting off my face a little bit um, so that's kind of cool with the shoes that they can be two different lengths um, the hand gestures that they have in here it looks like like fists and then like the little piece hands and then like gripping hands so that she can hold um, this little lantern isn't that cute it looks very similar to this lantern <laughs> that's really cute all right um, I'm going to leave the hands, but I am going to take out her clothing so we can get her dressed here. I don't want to lose her hands. Oh, actually the hands are covered by a little piece of tape so they won't fall out, which is great. So I'm going to cut out her thing here because it's taped down, I think. I think it's taped down. Yeah. I'm just going to cut it so I don't have to worry about peeling the tape up every time. can make it easy enough. Okay, so there's her clothing pieces. There's a skirt, a top, and then a cape thing. And then there is also a package um, for all of her stand bits. Hold on just one second. Okay, I had to go and do a little bit of work there. So, there was her outfit, the three pieces. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm just going to slide her over here. And get out these pieces. And I guess that's all there is in there. It's just like a little card to keep the package flat. Actually, it's four pieces, so we have a little pair of undergarments, a skirt, um, the cape, and the blouse. And the coolest thing about the blouse is there's a nice little peg hole in there so you can put the stand on her still. So, let's see if we can get her dressed here. Oh, you know what? I need to take, she has plastic on her. Uh, face there, so I'm going to take apart the hair pieces here. Alright. And that came right off. There's the little plastic piece. Stick that in there. And put her back together. Here's her face up close so you can see. I don't know, my lighting isn't that great. You can see she has a little, or at least a vampire fang. <laughs> That's so cute. Alright, so. Oh, let's see. Yeah, she just has one, like, thing on, to, on her left side of her mouth. Alright, let's see. I'm actually kind of excited to finally get her out of the package. Because I think I'm going to take a picture of her for Good Smile Company's, um, photo contest that they have for the um, like Halloween holiday I think it's a, cost, a contest that is only open to United States residents so I'm sorry if there are other people who are watching this 
um, that are curious about the contest. Maybe I'll put a link to that contest in my um, video in case anybody wants to see it. Alright, so undergarments on and skirt is um, actually sewn together but it's a velcro closure so that should be pretty easy to put on. here to get this close. That is kind of high up on her waist but it comes to just about her knees there so that looks okay. Now let's see how do I do this piece? The vest oh so it looks like the blouse is a separate piece from the vest but it's actually sewn together and it's also a velcro closure so this will just slip over her arms and close around her back I think I don't know if it would be easier to um, take her hands off beforehand I'm thinking yes I think that would probably be easier so I'm going to pop her little hands off so it's just the wrists pegs that you have to kind of go over. I'm going to bring both of her arms forward so it's as easy as possible to get this thing on her. Alright, I'm getting there, I promise. Maybe. Coworkers walking by poking fun of me, I'm sure. All right, so here it is kind of wrapped around, but I'm gonna have to pull it tighter to make sure that the hole actually goes over the peg stand hole. So make sure I can do that. It's a tight fit, but it's there. You can see it kind of has like a slit, and then that's where the slit for the skirt is too. And there she is. She looks pretty cute. And we'll put her hands back on. I can kind of relax the sleeves a little. Hold up to that to get that closed. The hard thing is about these is you can't really tell where, like, if you have it pointed down the wrong way or not. I don't know. So there she is in her outfit. Looks pretty cute. I feel like I need to straighten it out a little bit though. Alright, so I'm going to put her cape on next. That has a snap closure and it also has a hole in the back. If you can see that there for the peg stand. Gotta kind of line that up with everything. There it is. Um, okay, snap closure should be easy. I 
There we go. All right. So then the um, hole is still lined up in the back. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there underneath the collar. And there she is with her little cape on in the front. And I am going to change out her feet for these shoes. And the feet pop right up like so. And before you put the boots on, I guess you have to slip the top part of the boot on. I just have to make sure I have the right one for the right foot. All right, so this is the left foot. Let's see how this looks. It just slides right over the bottom of the leg there, which is pretty cool. And then you just kind of put the foot on. It's really cool because then it gives it that look like her leg is actually in the boot and not just like a painted on version or something. It's kind of neat. All right, so there she is, all dressed up. Let's see how these boots do. There's the um, magnets on the bottom. I grab her. Can she stand up with all her accessories on? There she is. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Now, just a couple of things to show you. Along with this. So, when she was released, they also released this, or actually maybe later, they released this really adorable coffin carry tote purse. It was meant for her. And I didn't get this until, like, I don't know, February of this year? March? I don't know. There's a little piece of paper saying, look, that's where you put the, men the Nendo. <laughs> I'm sure it can fit a Nendo or a Nendo doll, but look at that. It's like, they had a choice between, I think, red and black, and I chose red. So as you can see, it has little clips to put a carry handle on, or if you have a handle for the top, depending on how you want to do it. And it has two zippers there, so let's open it up. So it opens up, you can see it has the clear case right there, a little package you toss away, and then the carrying um, handle. The only thing that is concerning, right? This soft red, is that gonna stain them? I don't know, maybe. And then also, is her base gonna fit in here? I don't think so. You could put it behind her, but is it gonna fit? She fits just fine. Look how adorable she looks, you guys. Oh my gosh. See, I think I have her arm facing wrong. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that joint because I feel like her arm is sticking out a little bit more on the side than it should be. But there she is inside of there. Oh my gosh, look how cute she looks. This is so perfect. And then to have my little wolf boy and the lantern, my little Halloween lantern. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I'm so glad I have these. They're adorable. Finally, I, I've been waiting since last Halloween to actually put this girl together. I wonder if you could put her base like behind her. It does fit in the top half. I think it would be too big for the bottom half. And you can't really see it. I mean, you can, I guess, but at least it would be there if you wanted to bring it along and carry, you know, have her uh, stand with you. You could probably throw in a pair of hands um, the accessories, a little lantern or whatever. So, let's just see how this looks. So 
there she is. OMG, this is adorable, you guys. Look at that. Such a cute little carry pouch. I really love it. All right, let's check out the handle. Now, if only it would also fit my wallet and cell phone, that would be fantastic. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to be the case. All right, so this is kind of like an adjustable strap. Um, I think you could probably do, you know, you could hook it on whichever way you want. You can make the strap shorter or longer to make it probably be more like book bag style, depending on how you like it. But it's easy enough to just hook it on the side. This one, the lantern, did not come with a little handle. I wish it had. Um, but it would be perfect to have like a little carry, like a little loop, so you could just carry it like a lantern. But here she is in her strap. And she carry it like that. You can see it goes just like that. I really love this little vampire girl, the Mila. I forget the wolf boy's name. I've just been calling him wolf boy, but I'm super happy to have these two. I know the vampire boy was with her. There might have been a girl with him. I don't know, but I wanted these two to be together. They're, they were the first two Nun dolls that I ever got. And I think they're the only official Nun dolls that I have so far. Not sure. The first ones, the first two that I've opened. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of like Halloween themed uh, Nendroids. Um, let me know what you think. Does anybody else have this particular uh, combination um, of vampire and carry case? Did anybody get the black one? Or was there another color? Or, I don't know, what do you think? Does anybody else out there do Halloween themed Nendroids? Um, or do you do like Christmas, like holiday themed Nendroids in general? Um, let me know in the comments or just let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being here with me at work. Have a great night everybody or good morning. Bye!